It's time for another episode of What I Wore This Week. So for this week's episode, I put together some outfits that are cozy, perfect for right now. I know it's still really chilly in a lot of areas, so these are gonna work perfectly. And of course, you could always manipulate the looks with uh, the pieces you already have in your closet to really get something that works for you. If you need to change out pieces to make these looks more appropriate for the office, you can always do that. I did get some requests for weekender looks, and a lot of these can work for the weekend, but you can definitely change things um, around just to fit your style. These are more just like outfit ideas, but of course you guys can recreate all the looks and I'll have everything linked in the description box below if you wanna do that. I'll have links to whatever's still available and whatever's not available, I'll link to some similar pieces. Now, welcome back you guys and welcome if you are new here. My name is Ashley Park, welcome to Park Avenue. I have tons of fashion content, so if you love outfit ideas like the ones I'm gonna show you today, unboxing, styling videos, lifestyle content, I've got something for you. Be sure and check out some of my other videos and when you find something you like, be sure to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. That's super important because I upload multiple times a week and I don't want you to miss a thing. And one more thing before we jump into the first look, it's time for today's Instagram shout out. And today I'm shouting out to Chic. She commented under one of my last reels and she wrote, all the looks fire. Love the monochromatic looks, so classy. Thank you so much. After I read this comment, it got me thinking, like, I mean, obviously I really do love monochromatic looks. I've mentioned it many times in my videos. But after I read this comment, I realized how I really want to go hard with the monochromatic over the summer. Maybe not, I don't want to say I go hard. Like, I'm going to have every single outfit is going to be monochromatic. But I do really want to incorporate more, like, color blocking, even though that's not monochromatic. I also want to do more, like, head to toe of a bright, vibrant color. Um, something like pinks and yellows, even blues. So just more color, just like period. But I do want to do it in a monochromatic sense. So we'll see how the summer goes and what I find. Of course, I'm going to share all these looks with you guys. And I know so many of you love the color blocking and just like really vibrant outfits. And I know a lot of you do love the black looks that I share. So it's really nice to be able to have a variety for my wardrobe to share with you guys, to give you guys outfit ideas and things like that. So stay tuned for spring, summer fashion because I'm really excited about it. I'm really looking forward to it and I just can't wait to just really dive in. I've already had my like scope out to see like what's out there. So just stay tuned because I'm excited about it. But till then, we have our winter looks. Now let's jump into the first outfit. Now here's the first look I wanna show you guys, and I really love this outfit. Now starting with the jacket, I wore this in a video not so long ago, and you guys asked me, I got a lot of questions about this jacket, where is it from, where can you find it? Now this is our older jacket. I got this from Express a while back. I really do love it. It is a nice play on camouflage because I love camouflage, but this has um, kind of like a snake print on it. So I will link to something similar, but honestly, you guys, you can achieve this same look if you have something that's just a solid olive green color. It's more about the colors and tones that I'm showing you in this outfit, the fit and the shapes. But of course, I do like to play around with prints because that can add some more interest to the outfit. So you can do a standard camo jacket here. It doesn't have to be one with like a snake print olive color. You can play around with that. And I know a lot of you do have um, a lot of army fatigue like jackets. You could even do a denim jacket here. But because I'm doing regular uh, you know, blue jeans, you might wanna break it up a bit. So I would suggest doing like an army fatigue jacket. So I'll link to something similar. But maybe you already have like a safari style jacket, um, maybe even in like a, like a khaki color, like a tan or something like that. That could work here as well. And then underneath, I just threw on a cashmere turtleneck. I really like this one because it's comfortable. It's not itchy or anything like that. Um, and I like how it is just really like loose and kind of gives me a cow neck vibe. The turtleneck is pretty, is, is pretty uh, like loose. It's not tight or uncomfortable. And I like this, you know, as to like the casual relaxed vibe of the look. And then for jeans, I'm wearing my Good American Skinny Jeans. And I've been wearing these a lot. If you watch my channel, then you have seen these quite a bit. But honestly, any standard pair of skinny blue jeans is gonna do here. I, um, when I find a pair of jeans that I like, I tend to keep them in rotation because for one, it's really hard to find a great pair of jeans. And for two, I don't really love skinny jeans so much anymore. So this pair has been getting the job done. So I've just been wearing them a lot. And so I'm tucking these jeans into my Steve Madden boots. I shared these boots a while back in a haul and I really have been loving these. The color 
And even though they are so chunky, they're not super heavy. They're easy to get on, even though they don't have a zipper or anything like that. I really like these. I still recommend them. And um, they should be still available. As last time I checked, which was very recently, they were still available. Some of you told me that you were able to pick them up. And um, let me know in the comments, how have you been loving them? Because they're a really great pair of boots. Um, so I'll link them for you guys in the description box. And then for my bag, I went with my Loewe puzzle bag because why not? I'm just really obsessed with this bag. And it looked really good with this outfit. And then I also added to the jacket that I'm wearing, my Dior brooch. That is a great way to accessorize. I love brooches, you guys, and they are so fun. And let's say you can't uh, go out and get yourself like a Dior jacket or, you know, something from Saint Laurent or even Loewe. You can get a brooch from these fashion houses and add it to some of your favorite fashion pieces and then get that high end like luxury look. They're a great way to do that. They're a great way to accessorize. They're just like adding jewelry to your outfit. So much fun. So I would say play around with um, some brooches because you can really transform your looks with that as well. And it's just another excuse for jewelry. So why not? <laughs> Next up, I wanna share with you guys this really cozy knit set. Now I picked this up from Express a while back. I've had this for a long time. I always get compliments when I wear it. You guys have seemed to love it every time I share it in a video. Now this one is not available, so I'll link to something similar. I picked this up from Express and I tend to have good luck with their knits. They have really great sets every year and actually I have another set coming up that I'm gonna show you guys, but I like this one. It's more of like an oatmeal -y kind of shade. So I threw on my Vince Camuto boots I love these. I know so many of you love them because you told me you were able to pick them up on sale. Um, I'll link to them if they're still available. They are a really great pair of boots, very comfortable. And it's nice to have that heel height, but have that comfort. You know, that's a big deal for me. So highly recommend. And then for my bag, I threw on my Pochette Matisse. I have not worn her in a while, so I figured she deserved a little attention. And I think she worked well here with this outfit. I was wearing the camel boots. I mean, the whole entire outfit is very neutral, but I feel like the bag kind of like, you know, tied everything in, even though it's not the same uh, browns as like my boot or the same beige as my dress. I just feel like all the tones just worked well here. And then so I threw on my Gucci butterfly shades, um, just to add a little something extra, a nice big oversized pair of shades is like kind of my thing. So it just worked for me here. And these shades are in like a brown um, tone, like the lens. So again, it just worked with the color palette I was going for here. So I really love this look. It's very comfortable. And these kinds of sets with these pencil style skirts, they're so flattering. They're really great for curves. They are really cozy and comfy. And it's an easy way to look really put together without having to do much. So you don't really have to think about it at all. Here's the next look I wanna share with you guys. And I really like this look. I know so many of you guys love the all black look. So this is kind of that vibe with a little bit of a twist. So for my top, I'm wearing one of my yummy bodysuits. I love my yummy pieces because they have the properties of shapewear and it is a shapewear brand, but you can actually wear the pieces, you know, wear the pieces for your clothing so you don't have to double up. It's nice to not have to layer. Um, and that way it just increases the comfort. I really like it. It, it does smooth you out and moves with you well. And I love the bodysuits because I'm not sure if they give a little extra room, uh, you know, in the bottom half, but I never have to worry about them unsnapping or, um, or feeling uncomfortable or anything like that. They just are really nice bodysuits, so I do recommend them. This one is sleeveless, you can't see because I'm wearing a cardigan, but it does have that mock neck. So really great for layering. And then for jeans, I'm wearing a pair of jeans from Everlane. I do like these, they have a good amount of stretch. They are cropped like you can see here. Um, and they're just like made for curves, These this style in particular. And for shoes, I have on a pair of boots by the brand Aloha's, and I really like these. Um, they're comfortable to wear. They hug my ankle really nicely, and that's something I look for in boots because I just don't like when they're too wide at the ankle because when I wear them with skirts, it just looks weird. And when I, when I wear them with skinny jeans, I would have to tuck the jeans in, and there's still more room, and to me that looks weird because it just it cuts you off at a weird place. So I don't prefer it. I like any kind of a boot that really like hugs my ankle, and these do just that. And then for my cardigan, that is also from Everlane. And I really love this. I also have it in a really nice like bubblegum pink shade. Their knits are really good. I have quite a few pieces now from Everlane as far as their knits go, and I highly recommend them. This one is a really warm, cozy knit, but it's not thick and chunky or itchy or uncomfortable. Love this. And then for my belt, I threw on my Farragamo belt. I hadn't worn this belt in a while. This is the reversible belt um, on one side is brown, on the other side is black. I wore it on the black side, of course, so that I can keep that whole, you know, nice clean black line going on. And I just really like this look. For my handbag, I went with my Saint Laurent puffer. 
it was just the perfect choice. It worked well. And then I just threw on a pair of black oversized shades from Gucci as well. And I really love this look. Comfortable, chic, it's realistic. You can wear this into the office if you wanted to. You can switch out the jeans for a pair of slacks easily. Um, but you don't need to do that. Like let's say you can do like casual Fridays at the office. You can do something like this. It would work out well. Or you can wear this outfit on the weekends and you can switch out the boots for a pair of sneakers and run your errands. So just right there with this one outfit, you can do quite a few different occasions in your real life. So for that, I love this look because it looks good and it works well. Next up, I have another cozy knit set from Express. I shared this on my channel a while back and you guys loved it. I mean, I got such a huge positive response about this set because I also have it in another color um, and you guys just really loved it. So here it is again. I just, you know, styled it very simply with my New Balance sneakers. They have like a hint of green. I mean, like depending on what I wear them with, they can lean a little bit green, even though they're all cream. The mesh fabric on the side has like a tinge of green. So it just worked well with this uh, with this set. And this set is just so comfortable. I love a maxi cardigan. And I mean like a true maxi cardigan. I love when they're really, really long. This one is oversized and it's more like a coat. And then for my bag, I went with my Loewe puzzle. It's creamy like my sneakers and it just worked well as an accessory for this look. And then for um, sunglasses, I threw in a pair of like vintage shades that I've had for a while. They're no brand or anything like that. They're just an old pair of shades that I really like. Here's the last look that I wanna share with you guys. And this is a really great weekend outfit. So the sweater that I'm wearing is a lightweight sweater, but it's cashmere, so it keeps you warm. I picked this up from Nordstrom and it's giving me like a varsity vibe because it has those thick blue uh, double stripes on the arms. And I really like that. I love that whole vibe. And then it's a little bit more cropped in the front than it, than it is in the back. And it has those side vents. Uh, just, you know, really cute, really flattering, easy to wear. I love that. And then I have on a pair of skinny jeans. These are the Good American Skinny Jeans that I showed you guys in another outfit. They're comfortable, easy to wear. Uh, they have a nice high rise. So they worked with the top because it is cropped, like I said. And I tucked them into my Steve Madden boots. Again, I just really love these boots. I love the color and it worked really well with this outfit. A comfortable, easy, casual look, um, but you can switch out any of these pieces to completely change it if you needed to do that. And I'm sure so many of you have pieces similar in your wardrobe already, so just think about what you have. And I'm really glad that you guys are able to use these outfits as inspiration to remind you of what you have, you know, and different ways that you can wear it. And the last couple pieces that I used to accessorize this look, um, starting with my Chloe test bag. I just love this bag and I really love the way it looks with this outfit. And then I threw on a pair of my oversized Gucci shades. These have a blue lens and it just ties back to that blue, um, those blue stripes on the sleeve. And then of course my blue jeans. I really love these sunglasses and they come in like yellow. I've seen them in so many colors. I've shared them with you guys. I can't find the blue anymore, but if I can, I'll link them. But of course I will continue to link the other colors that are available. Um, because I do want another color myself and because these are really great sunglasses. They're a lot of fun. They're not very opaque. So I am able to keep them on inside as well. And that's something I look for with sunglasses. Once I put them on, I prefer not to have to take them off unless I just want to. So it's nice to be able to do that with, you know, shades like these. So that is it, you guys. Those are the outfits this week. Let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite. And don't forget to check the description box, you guys, because I have tons of information for you guys in there. Not only do I have the links to all the outfits that I share with you guys or something similar, size information and all that, I also have links to all my socials. So if you guys wanna check me out on Instagram, I have the links there. Pinterest is a great place to check me out because I upload individual photos of each outfit. So that way you guys can build your own fashion boards or inspo boards or just plan out your outfits for the week without having to go back to all my videos. So that's a really great tool. And then if you guys wanna shop my closet, you can. I have the link to my closet sale in the description box so you guys can shop away. There are new pieces added all the time and there was actually just a ton of stuff added recently. So if you haven't already, check there and be sure to check out my ebook. You guys, I got such a positive response from so many of you and I thank you guys so much. I'm so happy you guys loved uh, my ebook where I share with you guys everything that I have done to get to the point that I'm at right now. I get so many questions about how to be successful on YouTube, what I did, you know, any tips that I have to offer and literally everything is in that guide. And I got so much good feedback from you guys about how 
valuable you feel that this guide is and it truly is so now i'm really excited to say that you guys can get the audio version of this ebook i know a lot of you might be very busy but you still want to learn how to succeed on youtube you want some tips and some guidance and i know that a lot of people are just really busy maybe you're a mom maybe you are only able to listen while you're like on the computer at work so this audiobook is going to allow you to do that it's going to give you all the same information but now you can just listen and you don't have to sit in one place and read we're all very busy and I know we all are multitasking, but you still want to be able to get the information. So the audiobook is now live. You guys check the description box and pick it up. And I would love to know you guys' feedback. It helps so much in me just like, you know, being able to share more with you guys and just know that you're able to receive the information. So definitely check the description box. I'm really excited for this and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. I cannot wait to talk to you guys in the next video. Till then, meet me on Instagram. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.